Jiggy Cat On a damn villain spree This is not good so And you can't mimic my energy 100 round drum And me hanging like a centipede Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to play classic of Mega games on your PlayStation Vita that is modded as well. This method does work with the PlayStation TV and the emulator. What we're going to be used is called UAE for all 2. And basically this was ported a while ago for the PlayStation Vita. And it's pretty cool since I never, you know, ever played Amiga games. So it's pretty cool that I can run this on my device. And that's why I'm going to be showcasing for today's video. With that being out the way as well, I'm going to be talking about the prerequisites and everything you need for this video, plus any useful links and anything I use in this video will be in the link in the description down below. So first things first, if you have a modded PlayStation Vita that's already hacked, whether with the Hankaku Enzo exploits, the original Hankaku exploit, um, Trinity, H on Core, H on Core 2, you can all do it for this process. As well, if you on firmware 3.60 to 3.73, you can still run this on, you know, your those hacked firmwares. As well, you'll need the latest build of Vita Shell, the latest build of UAE for all two, which is basically the Amiga emulator in VPK format. Um, For this, you'll need a set of Amiga ROM, whether it's for the Amiga 500 or the 1200, make sure your ROMs are in .adf format as well. I will also have a dot .zip in the link in the description down below that I already pre-made for you guys, so it's more easier on how to set up. And basically, the pre-made uh, setup folder contains um some bios files that you'll need for this process um as well you're going to be needing a usb cable if you're going to be transferring items over that way or you can use files of the ftp client and for today i'll just be using files of the since um the files are not too large but i always recommend for people to you know transfer files over via with vita cell since it's way much faster and easier to do with that being said i want to give a special thanks out to rsn8887 he's the one who created this emulator and to anyone who will help with this project as well shouts out to you guys but don't forget if you need any help feel free to join my discord and with that being said let's go ahead on the playstation vita to get things set up Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're going to go ahead and get started on the PlayStation Vita side of things. So first things first, make sure of course your PlayStation Vita is modded in some shape or form. But what we need to do is go ahead and open up Vita Shell. I'm already assuming that you already have Vita Shell on your system. If not, I will have the link in the description down below on how to download it via with the VPK as well. But what we need to do is make sure your Wi-Fi is on for this process. Go ahead into Vita Shell. Uh, what we need to do now, if you're going to be transferring over your files via with a USB cable, just go ahead and hit start. Make sure your select button is select to USB. Just char put your charging cable in from your PC to Vita. But if you're going to be transferring files via like I am for this video via with files of the FTP client or any FTP client of your choice, what we're going to do is go ahead and hit left and right on your D-pad. Make sure your select button right here says is over to FTP since we're doing this wirelessly. And then all we got to do now is hit select on a device and now it will showcase our PlayStation Vita's IP and then what we're going to do is go ahead to the PC and get started on the file transfer for this stuff. Alrighty guys, so assuming that you got everything set up on the PlayStation Vita, what we need to do now is go to the PC. And right here, here is the official website for the Amiga emulator. Here's the GitHub. Here is just a description for it. So used for all two mod is an Amiga emulator for the PlayStation Vita. This is my mod of the latest Vita version of this great Amiga emulator, which was ported by CPAS Juste. Um, depending on when you read this, this mod may be ahead or behind his version. So this is just the developer himself, RS. 887 just telling about the port for this um here is all of the um exclusive features that this um emulator has i'm not going to uh, spend time reading on this since this is just a installation guide but i do recommend if you want to you know read in more in depth about this emulator i will have this in the link in the description down below but all you would need to do is just scroll all the way down to um the release assets for this and just download the vbk but since i already uh download the vbk to my pc what we're going to do is just get started on transferring this stuff over so here is the actual vbk right here here is a game for the amiga i'm just going to be using classic bubble bobble since it's one of my favorite games and here is the pre-made setup folder i was talking about earlier that will be in the link in the description down below as well what we need to do now 
is something with like Renoir or Renzip. If you don't already have Renoir on your computer, I will basically provide that as well in the link in the description down below. What we need to do is right click over our folder, go into extract files here, go into OK. And then what we need to do in this pre-made folder, I already have everything set up. You will have a folder in UA or called UAE for all. It's already set up you know strictly on how to basically do this process so you don't even have to change any content since i did it for you this contains where you need to put your roms at plus where you need to basically have your bios or kickstarts at so here is already the stuff already pre-made for you so in this case once you extract it out to ua for all or uae for all folder you're going to take the dot adf file or whatever games you have and you're just going to dump it in here just for time purposes i'm going to be having this um you know just one game but you could have you know a thousand games if you want for this process what we're going to do now as well since we got the playstation vita's ftp server open we're going to open up a uh, filezilla ftp client so i'm just going to go ahead and close out chrome and then open up filezilla ftp client you can use any ftp client of your choice but what we need to do now where it says our host and port, we need to go ahead and type in our PlayStation Vita's IP. Let me close this out since I don't want to update right now. So here is my PlayStation Vita's IP. Yours will be different, but our ports will be the same, which is 1337. Go ahead and hit quick connect on our console. Now you should see all of your directories on your PlayStation Vita. First directory we need to go into is go into UX0 go into the data folder and this is where our um uae for all folder that i pre-made for you guys needs to go in here so all you got to do is just drag it over to our data folder right here once those files has successfully transferred over which it has right now let's go and verify that our stuff has transferred over this is where um you can see bubble bobbles here our kickstart roms are here so we're good for that process and now all we got to do is fairly simple i'm going to go ahead and back out and then we're going to take our VBK via an UX0. And now that's done. So basically the Amiga emulator plus the data folder is now set up. What we need to do now is go to our PlayStation Vita and then install the VBK. And now we are able to play some classic Amiga games. Alrighty guys, so once you're back onto the PlayStation Vita and all of your data has successfully transferred over, what we're going to do is go ahead and close out of our FTP server. I'm just going to go ahead and verify in my data folder right here that in my UA all for all folder, you can see that I have my ROMs and you can see that my content is here as well. What we're going to do is go into UX0 and we're going to actually install the mega emulator itself. So that's what I'm doing here. Once it's um, fully done installing as well, it'll pop up on our live area and then we are able to play our games of choice. So just waiting for it to do its thing. Just a FYI, the Amiga emulator is kind of different than other emulators itself, and the button configuration is pretty weird, or weird, but I'm gonna try my best to explain on how to operate it. So what we're gonna do now, back out of Vita Shell by closing out of it. Here is Amiga. So just go ahead and run the program just like any normal homebrew on a PlayStation Vita. And now what your D-pad, this is where you could, you know, change your state or, you know, look into safe states, choose any more options, display sound, um, set the number of drives, insert a disk image, and also play our game. So the way on how to do that is where it says DF0, go ahead and hit X on your PlayStation Vita, go ahead and hit the D-pad to scroll down, go to bubble, bobble, or whatever game you want. I'm going to go ahead and hit X. Now what you want to do is hit start on your system and now right now it's basically booting up the game so it may take a little while so that's it right here so if you hit select right now as well you can see you could play your game of choice the way on how to basically scroll down with the menu you may have to use your right analog stick so that's how i'm scrolling down right now as well i think to start a game you either have to press select or excuse me not select but start i think you may have to tap on the screen yeah you can actually tap on the playstation vita screen and now the game is now loading itself so it's taking a second so here is bubble bobble running in lifetime on my playstation vita the emulator controls are you know i wouldn't think user friendly but you know the game actually works so here's it running in real life time you could probably hear the audio coming from my PlayStation Vita 
I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it down so I won't, you know, go over my voice. But yeah, this is essentially on how to play classic, you know, games on your PlayStation Vita via from the Amiga. If you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know. Please be sure to subscribe. And if you have any trouble setting this up, please feel free to join my Discord. With that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace